To test our office software, we'd been told to report to the seaside town of Clevedon in North Somerset. At this stage, all we knew was we'd be using our office applications to assist some dedicated triathletes and their coach, Tom. Would you get in there, Joe? Not in a million years, sir. We'll stay on dry land, thank you, and introduce our office software from there. Obviously, John, I've got the bee's knees. I have Microsoft 365, which is basically a version of MS Office that integrates with the cloud. Mmm, cost? Well, I'm running the personal version, John, which is £60 a year, and with that, you get an incredible one terabyte of data storage. Does yours do that? What's it even called? Uh, it's called WPS Premium, which stands for Writer, Presentation and Spreadsheets. And yes, it does come with cloud storage, but in my case, just 20 gigabytes. However, it costs costs just £23 a year. That's less than half the price of yours, Otis. And with WPS, you can still create Microsoft Office-compatible documents. That may be, JB, but with note-taking, email and video calling apps included, I reckon the extra cost is worth it. Ah! Morning, all! Morning! Morning. We've got a talent for you. Oh, oh, you have? Oh, oh. there! Oh, what's this? Thank you. Using your word processors, design a poster. Oh, what fun. OK. So, our first task was to entice new talent to Tom's team. That's what those are for, I suppose. Oh, great. We had to snap some shots of the athletes in action. I should have been a pet. Then retire inside to design and print an eye-catching A3 poster with each of our word processors. Naturally, John, I will be using the legendary word processing software that is Word. Do you know why? Because I can choose from up to 700 different fonts with a maximum text size of 1,638 point. 23 inches. Big, innit? Yes. Yeah, arguably too big for my A3 poster. Well, WPS also allows my text to reach gargantuan proportions. Oof. Albeit with just 183 fonts. Who needs 700 fonts anyway? Yeah. And my colour palette is infinite. Same. On paper, WPS seems to have all the tools to give Office a run for its money. But will that be the case in practice? Time to add our photos. Maximum resolution of image I can insert is 330 dpi. I just have a maximum of 200 dots per inch. That's lower than standard print resolution. Not a good start. And my problems continued when I tried to manipulate the text. Uh, but I should be able to move it but it sort of moves that, which I don't understand. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Eventually, I did succeed, though positioning the cursor required the dexterity of a brain surgeon. No such issues for me. Word had worked like a dream. Time to print out our efforts. Although the photo quality of both posters looked about the same, there's no doubt that other aspects of WPS had disappointed. I found it rather a frustrating experience using the WPS writer for this. I found Word quite idiot-proof, to right. be honest. It, also, yeah. oh, dare I say, it, your, your font looks like it was stamped on Yes, again. it looks really clumsy. I mean, why is that I so close to the L? It just looks uneven. So I think it, it's quite clear that Word is easier to use and produces better results. Yep. So, first blood to Microsoft, but still a long way to go. Next, a challenge relating to the cycling part of a triathlon. Yes. Ooh, what's what's going that on? last one doing? Ooh, Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, look. Look. It's a message on oh. a bottle. Using your spreadsheet apps, present the training data from the cyclists. Oh. What fun. Exciting stuff. Each of the triathlete's bikes had been fitted with an onboard computer that spat out thousands of data points per ride. All we had to do was turn that into a more meaningful bar chart for Coach Tom. But first, we needed to find some averages. And I'm up first with... The legendary Excel, John. The only problem is, I have absolutely no idea where to start. Thankfully, Excel has help built right in. How do I average a row? Excel has handily pointed me to the built-in auto-sum button, meaning no elaborate formulas required. However, spreadsheets being spreadsheets, it wasn't quite that simple. Now, the help function works. It did exactly what I asked it to. It gave me the function that I needed to find the average. 
but the function was so long, it covered up the data that I needed to enter into the function to get the answer. Meanwhile, on my side of the table, I too was seeking help. To average a row. That's probably that one, isn't it? A quick way to calculate an average. And I get a video. Sales in a single day sheet of a supermarket here. We want to quickly calculate the sum, average, maximum, and daily sales volume. While the WPS video tutorials weren't exactly speedy, they did point me to the right place. Oh, yes. So that's highlighting these. I'm going to auto sum. And unlike Excel, I had no problems with my data being hidden. With averages calculated, it was time to make our bar charts, and Excel excelled once again with its recommended charts function, which suggests ways to display your data. Sadly, WPS wasn't quite as easy. Chart library. Having to manually select a chart from its selection of over 10,000. I quite like that one. But then I discovered this would involve an additional cost. I wasn't prepared to pay this, and my free options were limited to a choice of just one. Which, frankly, is a bit rubbish, I think, because it's a very basic graph. With both of us finished, we wanted to know what Tom thought of our efforts. Well, from face value, they look like they're offering me the same information, but this chart feels easier to read because there's multiple colours. If I was presenting to one of my athletes, I would be more interested in using this. So, even though Excel's help function wasn't perfect, it more than compensates by offering greater visual choice, giving it a 2-0 lead with just one challenge to go. We'd already made good use of our triathletes while swimming and cycling, but for challenge three, it was time for them to pound the pavements so we could compare presentation apps. Oh, I, I say, I, hold on. you there. You mind awfully reading what's on his T-shirt? No problem. Using your presentation apps, pitch some new tech to the triathletes. Yes, we both had to devise some presentations that would captivate our athletic quartet. All we needed now was some tech bait to hook them with. Ooh, prezzies. He's got my name on it. Ooh, John, look, a pair of Socks Open Run bone conduction headphones. These will help the miles melt away. Ah, well, I've got a pair of Under Armour Hover Mega 2 clone trainers. Selling these to them will be a cinch, especially with the power of WPS at my disposal. It ain't what you got, John, it's what you do with it. So, to help my PowerPoint presentation sing, I'm going to record some eye-catching video of my headphones with the help of Coach Tom. Moving round, look at that. Whoa, bang, great shot. The best ideas are often someone else's, so I also borrowed Tom. And a few close-ups, I think. Whoa. Stand by and run towards me. With the action captured, we got to work on our presentations, and my office software is simply bursting with design ideas. I have a choice of 20,000 online templates, meaning, if I so desired, I could choose a new one every day for almost 55 years. Who needs 20,000 different templates? I've got 639 of them, which is more than anyone could ever need. Yeah, but, John, you can never have too much of a good thing. Anyway, I soon found the one I liked. Modern angles. That's me, innit? I'm going to add some killer facts, and I want them to really jump out of the screen as our triathletes. So I'm going to animate them. WPS has 52 effects to choose from. I've got eight more than him. Who knows? A slick animation could be the difference between winning or losing this round. Time to slot my video into WPS's presentation app. And I promptly followed suit. I'm also going to add some commentary in here. Why risk stumbling over your words when you can record them in advance? These headphones are not your typical running headphone. Oh, no. And it's also oh, no for me, because pre-recorded commentary is a function that WPS lacks. For that, I need a separate program. So instead, I'm going to perform my commentary live. They are a sure product for all you runners out there. Our presentations were now ready, but which would be better at engaging our audience? With Tom and his crew sitting comfortably, we could begin. 
Once again, I'd go first, and all I had to do was push a button. The Shocks Open Run Bone Conduction Headphones. Yes. After a slightly nervous moment, my presentation kicked into full gear, and along with my audience, I could revel in its majesty. Now, my and WPS's turn in the spotlight. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to introduce, introduce the under -arm. And the pressure was already getting to me, although my animated text was working splendidly. Bits. They come with a Map My Run app that tracks and analyzes your running metrics. They also have a whole load of features that you can see here in action, if only the video would play. But then I have to actually play it manually, it seems. Here in slow motion for a change is Tom, who uh, is clearly very particular about his running shoes. Well, thank you very much for uh, watching this presentation. <laughs> well, I think that went rather well. I'm glad you did, John. Fortunately, it's not your decision that matters, Otis. And talking of decisions, we wanted more than simple opinions to judge the quality of our presentations, so we'd arranged a little quiz to see how much visual and verbal information had sunk in. OK, everyone, the results are in. So my presentation scored 10 points. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> and John's scored 11. Ooh. Congratulations there, boy. Well done. Thank you. So, in spite of a few fluffs on my part and some manual intervention, WPS Premium created the most engagement with our triathletes and scrapes a victory in round three. But with a 2-1 victory overall, it's the stalwart that is Microsoft Office that wins this battle. <laughs>